Hello artists, kindergarten through third grade. This week we are learning about prehistoric art. Prehistoric means before written records. We read the book, The First Drawing, because I think this book helps us imagine what it would have been like to live back then and be one of the first artists ever. This book was inspired by the Chauvet Cave, which I have in my background. When this cave was discovered, it was the oldest example of drawing ever found. Last year, they found art that was even older in Indonesia. One of my favorite cave art facts is that archeologists have studied the handprints that are on the walls of caves, and they're able to tell that some handprints were made by men, some handprints were made by women, and some handprints were made by children. And I think that's so cool because it shows that art has always been for everyone. I'm going to post a couple extra videos in case you want to learn more about cave art, and I'm going to show you a few ways I made art inspired by cave art. Prehistoric artists could not run to the store to get art supplies. They didn't have paintbrushes, they didn't have markers. All they had was what they could find in nature. So this is a great time to explore using nature as our art materials and using recycled materials. Since prehistoric artists did not have paint, they had to find colors in nature using rocks and dirt. One fun way to paint is to use spices from your spice cabinet. An important thing though, we have to ask a grown-up. Ask a grown-up first. I asked my mom. Then I picked out my spices. I'm using red cayenne pepper, chili powder, turmeric, which second graders you'll remember from our naturally dyed yarn that turmeric makes beautiful yellow, and paprika. I also threw in some food coloring, even if that's not really from nature, because it's fun. I added a little bit of water to each of my spices and then started my cave painting. These paints aren't as smooth as the paints I normally use, but they smell amazing. I also used cocoa powder to add to my painting and it smelled the best. A fun way to make cave art is to draw on crumpled up paper. I used this brown paper that came in a package. You can look in the lines and find shapes of animals to draw the same way that prehistoric people found animals in the bumps on their cave walls. I'm using charcoal and chalk pastel for a nice messy effect. You could use any type of art supplies though. For my signature, I'm going to trace around my hand just like prehistoric people did. A fun way to make art outside is chalk paint. I made mine by mixing cornstarch, food coloring, and water, but you can also make it with flour. I painted a polka dotted horse and a blue woolly mammoth. This art will wash away with the rain. Early artists had to get all of their materials from nature, so let's look around outside and see what we can find. I gathered some pieces of nature, including pine needles, a twig, and a dandelion. I used them to paint on this piece of cardboard. I'm using paint, but you could also try this with mud. You might not be allowed to bring your art inside though. Petroglyphs are one type of ancient art. Petro means rock and glyph means writing. Prehistoric people carved into rocks using other rocks to leave their markings. I'm going to paint on a rock instead. I'm using symbols inspired by the Tiano people who lived in Puerto Rico. This is a Tiano carving of a frog. So those are a few of my ideas for how we can make art that's inspired by prehistoric art. But feel free to think of your own. This is also a time in art history that's really fun to imagine. So feel free to try to make your own caves out of cardboard boxes or blankets and make art in there too. Just be sure to ask a grown up before you use anything that you wouldn't ordinarily use and before you do anything that might be messy. Thanks for watching and I can't wait to see what you guys make. Thank you.